I am the Derpy Well, and this is your daily dose of Minecraft. This video is sponsored by Backbone, but more on that later. This player got a little bit quirky with how he deals with creepers and paid the price. Like, what is the odds of this happening? Well, there goes the redstone. That is a painful watch. Whilst on the theme of creepers, a player by the name of Pugba was actually blessed by a creeper. Oh hey, would you look at that? The creeper was nice enough to reveal some diamonds. Jugo has given us a sneak peek of what's coming to the Critters and Companions mod, and it's all of these koi fish variants. Faithful Moose was just exploring his world with an elytra, and then suddenly a mounter just appeared out of nowhere. Does this player not know the rule of bedrock that you don't fly that low for exactly reasons like this? Speaking of bugs and glitches in Bedrock Edition, the epic ball maker has found this interesting one that he is showing off with his friend. YouTuber Radium is showing off the mystery box. He has added in his attempt to bring Call of Duty Zombies into Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And this is what he has so far, it's incredible. The player with probably the best name I've ever said on the show, Swagapotamus, has made two creeper friends. And before you say it's players in disguise, it's actually not. It involved using the nether portal and a bedrock glitch, but more information can be found on his post. Yeah, here you go guys, here's proof that I actually do leave my house sometimes to take in the views. The views of my backbone enabled phone for mobile gaming on the go. The backbone will convert your iPhone or Android into a gaming console. All you need to do is literally just pull the backbone and insert your phone. It's as simple as that. And sometimes it's nice just getting into mobile gaming even if it's not something you usually do. There's only so much you can sit at a desk. And I'll be honest, I'm usually a PC gamer. Normally movement and combat feels awful using mobile and touch controls. But not with a backbone, it's just so smooth. And you know me, I just had to load up Minecraft. There's something really satisfying about playing Minecraft on the sofa. Like, I would highly recommend. I've been a PC gamer all my life. So thank you Backbone for reaching out and giving me the opportunity to actually finally get into mobile gaming. And if you want to pick up one yourself, check out the link in the pinned comment. This player isn't looking where he's running and we all know how that ends. But let me know in the comments, is he going to survive or die? You've got two seconds. If you said survive, you're wrong, because the creeper- Ah, I'm just kidding, he actually does survive. Not even portals in Bedrock Edition are safe these days. This player is suffocated in his one. And if you look at the bottom right, the game thought he was drowning, which is so unfortunate. There's quite a lot I can actually say about this clip, but I'm just not going to. I'm just gonna feel bad for Alex, he did not deserve that whatsoever. And judging by his inventory, he was actually quite new, so that's always just sad to see. Okay, so the nether is a rough place, and if there's a glitch there, okay, maybe. But farming? Why does this player just ignite for no reason? <laughs> What's happening? Or maybe this player is actually a skeleton. Hmm. This player was running away from some mobs, and then threw an enderpearl in panic, and then this happened. The enderpearl landed on the right side of the fence, if it was the other side he would have fell into what he is about to show you, and I don't think he would have walked away from this. Damn. Enjoy this pretty smooth animation, created by Packer. Players are really getting creative with the new entity display blocks, and a player by the name of Admiral Meme Vacuum has figured out a way of how to rotate V block display models using armor stands. And the result is this. Next step is to add some laser sounds, and you're onto a winner. This resource pack is actually pretty satisfying, as it adds water droplets into the game for when dripstone leaks water onto it, also when it rains, and it makes for this pretty cool and kind of satisfying effect.
The player Nuke the Lub, as well as his friends, are making a PvP map, and as part of that they have added in this breachable wall. Now imagine you're on the other side of this wall, and about 10 people in Never Armor just rush you. Have you ever wondered what it would look like if instead of Enderman teleporting, they would teleport you? Well, Bonsai Studios have done just that. They make amazing things by the way, you should really go check them out. Command Block Idiot 69, someone who we feature quite a lot because they just make amazing things. You should definitely go check out their projects. But this time he has made a new boss fight and weapon for his custom dimension which we recently showed in the previous episode. But now this custom dimension has more content. This is why you never dig down in Minecraft, especially not in the nether, like what was he thinking? Also that basalt is just a red flag. <laughs> Do you think he survived? Maybe. This next clip is just pure pain, and I feel so bad. This player was using lava buckets to smell his ores, but then he misclicked and accidentally put his very good enchanted bow in instead. And to make it worse, I think it only did one block. God Louis Luxy is creating a resource pack that adds in glowing skull. And I just think it looks so beautiful. This player got the luckiest never portal spawn I think I've ever seen in the game. Oh wait, did I say lucky? I meant unlucky. That's not very cute vibes. Another day, another create mod satisfying door. Because I just love featuring them. Kamiliski is looking for feedback on his Pikmin mod. This is what he has so far and they're very interactive. And I can already see that they have quite a lot of functionality but he's looking for more feedback to improve it even more and they will even come to your defense when needed. As part of Call of Duty Zombies in Minecraft, this is the Thunder Gun. Yeah, that's pretty effective. Subscribe with notifications on for more. Thanks for watching.